Welcome back. In the previous lecture, we built a Facebook ad using the inbuilt template that Canva provided us and we built this design. So now we would like to build one more. However, let's do it in a simple way. So let's go to canva.com and the first thing we'll have to do is search here for Facebook ad and it will give you a required dimension one and we open that. Now in this time we are going to create from a blank page and it's fairly simple. I will show you how to do it. So whenever a first design page opens, the first thing I prefer to do is always rename this. So I have named it as Canva Facebook Ad Tutor. So you can name it anything as you would prefer and let's start making one. So whenever we start making uh, in this template, we want to have a, an actual idea on what we are going to make. So previously we built something of a guitar, um, selling of guitar uh, thing. So if you want to make a similar thing like that, then of course you can do it. So let's search for some guitar related uh, images definitely we'd want them so you can use this thing there are a lot of interesting things so i like this one so you can use this one as well um, so you can surf the wave and use the one which you would prefer seems like this one is also good however let's keep it a simple one so let's uh, take this one and let's download it so we'll have to wait okay so that's done at here in your uploads you can simply drag this thing at here and it's uploading i guess so yeah it's uploading so there are different sites where you can so this one was definitely free pick uh, you can go to freepick.com to search for some free templates you can use this site and next to you can also use png tree where this will provide you transparent background one we don't need this you can use free icons png for guitar and stick png also for your transparent background such sort of things there are different sites like I'm sorry, pixels.com where you can download for free and you can also search uh, different photos and you can use that for free. So you can see you can surf this site as well. So you can surf this site and choose the one you would prefer. So we have already selected one. So let's get back to it. We can close this pixels. So when we start it, we want, uh, let me show you an example. When you keep this thing in the middle, you can see this thing is a small, not covering the entire screen. Now definitely you could uh, fix it right here, try stretching it here, and then again, like this one, definitely you can do that. But alternatively, what I would suggest you doing is go to more, and otherwise you can go to your elements, and you can actually, see and go to your grids one and this is a single frame grid at right here so use this one and now that this is here go to your uploads and your insert your photos right there so you have it where you need it so now if you prefer to crop this or move it somewhere you would prefer you can definitely do that Seems like our image was quite big. So let's see, I think we can do it right on this one as well. So we'll keep some simple text now right here and that would be all we need to cover. If you want to search for some more guitar template, definitely you can do that. And every time it will show you a different one and you can utilize it. So this one is a paid version one. 
so we utilize this one earlierly so you can also utilize this one this also seems interesting and i guess it will cover your full screen as well however at the bottom there is this background written although we could that cover it with a similar sort of ending but that's fine since i've already selected this one let's go with it so let's plan it uh, how would you like to do it definitely if you would prefer to uh, show it like your company name first of all then you can do like this was similar to how we did it uh, earlierly let me show you how we had created earlierly where uh, in our previously created we had a design and this see this was our company name so i just wanted to use the same company name and it showed you our home sort of logo and there is this company name so you can search your home logo and probably something like that or close to like that will arrive so better to use something simple if you prefer to use this one that's fine and then just reduce it to a very small size i think better than that would be a this one but i just saw this was a pro version one let's not try to use a pro one seems like all of them are pro so let's keep using this one and now in your text you can go i always prefer starting with this add little body of text thing and keep it where you would prefer to use it and just give your company name so we had earlier gold string studios So you can do it all caps using how I did it earlier. Select the text and go to this small capital uppercase one. And let's give this a small font, not even of 18. Let's give it actually of just 14 text size. Because this is just our company name to get started. You can always increase or decrease it as per your need and let's give it a collect keep one and now we insert here in middle the main uh, main banner for our ad or main purpose so let's write here a heading let's give it this time we're not selling the guitar however let's sell our course the guitar lessons So let's actually increase this font size. Let's see. Maybe we can give it a 56. Oh, or let's just give it a 50 value. I think that would be fine. And if you prefer to change the color, so if you have a color palette choice from right here, let's just select it later and change this color. So let's see how it looks. So for the dark image, probably a lighter color choice would be a better one. So this is looking fine. In fact, let's do this. This one also giving it some colors. So let's see. We don't have other palettes here. Okay, we can choose from right here. Let's give this one up. Well, let's keep it white. That was fine. So, guitar lessons. And maybe I prefer to add a ribbon. So, let's do some simple white ribbon. So this one's free and I guess we can utilize this one, the free one. 
I'm trying my best to utilize most of the free ones. And for this, you can see there are two color options here. If I select a bit or the white one to some shades of gray, that would look nice. Let's decrease it a bit and go to your text. Now, subheading, let's write. all skill levels and we would want it inside of this however the ribbon went small so when your ribbon is too big the screen it won't look nice so what i decide what i decided was to remove that ribbon at all so let's keep this thing in the middle so we seem to have not changed the font of this Let's actually keep this new wave font or if you prefer the earlier one, the open sans one, that's also fine. You can go for this railway font as well or you can search for different fonts. So let's see in between these two, I guess open sans was fine and for this let's give it a font of railway and let's decrease its size to somewhere around 24 is fine and now probably what you can write is earlierly we had that black friday or special sale 1111 11 special sale so if you prefer to add that you can it was a simple uh grad uh, i guess not the gradient but a slightly different color than this red and this special seal one was included there so if we prefer to do that let's see we can do Okay, I think we can do this. Let's actually select this one and then increase this. And if you want to change this color, then you can change it from here. We can add some text to it. For text, you can add. So, if you want to add some sale thing, you can write that, or you can also write this 25% off. On all course. So let's change this font to railway as well and let's capitalize this one also and if you prefer use the shift to select this and this and the background gray and then group them so we have grouped them and now this one is one single object we can move them as where we need so let's keep this here somewhere around here so that's fine and earlier we were trying to add a ribbon i guess i had one good idea with the ribbon so let's select the white ribbon for now so i guess this one was the free one
So what we can do is uh, let's actually move this element slightly above, reducing its size to somewhere around here, and let's bring this ribbon at the bottom. And now we'll change this color to let's see. So I guess a shade of white is fine and we'll keep some text. Let's write here book your seat now and definitely move this right up to here. So you can see using all capital uh, the spacing that tend to be a problem, so let's do. I guess so. We just have a put this there. And let's change the font to a darker one. So since we want a ribbon to be small one, rather than this, we can use our creativity and rather than save spacing, let's write book now. That would be all. So we are trying our best to keep it simple and minimal, minimalistic looking. So you can use your up keyboard also to reduce its size. And then you can move it also from your keyboard. So slightly there would look fine. So I guess that it that would look fine. Or if you want to change your font for this text. Since we are keeping it roughly a simple looking, so I guess, uh, so I guess this earlierly use Open Sans font was a fine looking one. Now select this a bit. So now we are in the middle. So that's fine now. Select this and using the space keyboard, select your. I guess select this and using space, select this book now and try to group them. So I guess we can keep this on it here where it was previously. And we can keep this like this. 25% off on all your course, guitar lessons, all skill level. Use that on uh, negative spacing nicely. So we we are leaving this space and although this side that would be eye catchy one. So that would be all necessary here. If you prefer to add extra things like maybe if you would prefer keeping some more text, like let me show you one more example while we are doing this. So Rather than that, let's do one thing. Let's uh, create new design right from here. Or uh, we saved it right from here. Now we can change this name again. 
new and now let's start working on it once more so what we can do is uh, this discount for sun let's keep it fairly small looking and wait it that's fine this book now for sun can now be at the most bottom most position Or if you prefer, actually I prefer not to use this book now at all because this doesn't seem to will go matching with our what we are going to write with next. Now add a bit of text and you can write here what you would like to input. So I'd like to give some pointing to this and probably I would write here something like code progression and what we can write we can write things like classical picking and more to that some music theory and also we can write tablature so while this is there for all of these we would want in one position so that's fine. Move this at here. So I always prefer to check with different fonts how it is looking and I guess either this quality key font or this railway font both of these are looking nice. So we have this so you can include what you are going to teach here or you can simply like include this person at the bottom and this person at the at right here. So it's, it's always about giving what more information you can give through your uh, ad. The less, it's not always like the less text is always better, but the right amount of text will definitely go grow a long way. So let's, I think this is in fine position. So probably if you want to increase that spacing, definitely you can do later spacing in this way and the line spacing in this way. So let's give it a small bit of line spacing and that would be fine. So this seems to be like a good position. So guitar lessons, all the skill level, 28% off on all course and this this one's of design is fine. So with this done, if you prefer uh, this one as completed, then that's all. And then you can download it. I would, you know, I always suggest this PNG design. And then download this one. Once it's done, it will save it to your. Okay, this is the download position, and now you can save that. So that's done, and I hope you got a tentative idea of how you can create your Canva Facebook ad design using Canva and we used both our template route this one was template route and this one was what we created using this image from online so this one is real the free image so I hope you guys have got your basic idea on how you can use Canva to create what you wanted to create and in this way you can have your Facebook ad completed using Canva. It's a fairly simple process, it doesn't take much time and anyone can do it. Definitely you can also do it. So that's all. I'll see you on the next lecture now.